Hello, this video will show you how to navigate the LACCD Cleared For system, which is the system in which you're going to upload your COVID vaccination records as well as schedule your baseline COVID test with the school. So the first thing we're going to do is access our student email. So each student should have received an email from Cleared For in order to access their private link to get to their personal account for Cleared For. So what you're going to do is you're going to find an email that says no reply at cleared4.com uh, and it will be titled daily session reminder. If you do not see the email listed on your regular inbox, you can also go onto the search bar on the top and search LACCD. You, once you search for that, you should see the email appear on your inbox. It should say no reply at cleared4work.com and it should be titled daily session reminder. So once you get to the email, you're going to see a message that looks something like this. And then once you get here, right below, you're going to see this link. That is the link for your private account that the school has created for you. So once you see that, you're going to copy and paste this link onto a new tab. And then once you do that, you'll be taken to the cleared for website to your specific account. Once you're there, you will see something that says, uh, please accept the disclaimer. Uh, you'll just click accept and then you should see something like this. So you're going to see Los Angeles Community College, Dist College District and then you're going to have a COVID-19 symptom survey. So what you're going to do is you're going to first do the symptom survey. You're going to click continue once you see this message and then you're going to see something like this. You're going to see a series of questions that's going to ask you uh, questions about uh, if you have any symptoms and whatnot. So answer them to the best of your abilities. And then uh, once you get to this part, you're going to select uh, California as the state. And then you're going to click on Los Angeles County as where our school is located. Once you get there, you're going to see a, another question that's going to ask you how many days you've been symptom free from COVID. This question is only going to show up the first time you set up your cleared for account. So this is just a one time thing. Once you have done that and submitted the survey, you will see this message here. Once you see this message, you're just going to click on go to home screen at the bottom of the page and it will take you to your cleared for home screen. So this is going to be the home screen that you will see every time you log on to your clear for it account using the link in your email. So right over here, this big button in the middle says show access pass. And once you do the survey, the survey must be done every time you come onto campus. It is only good for one day, the day you do the survey. So uh, once you come onto campus, before you come onto campus, you have to do the survey and then you will get a access pass for that day that you do your survey. Uh, once you click on that button, your cleared for uh, access pass will appear. You will get a QR code and then it will also tell you uh, the date in which you are cleared to enter the campus. So this QR code will need to be scanned at one of the designated locations on campus. If you have a question about where those are, are go ahead and visit the Welcome Center uh, or the information booth on campus also has the location posting and that is one of the sites you can scan into campus as well. So once you have done so uh, and you have showed that pass, you're good to get onto campus. Uh, if you want to set up your account to send you text messages for the survey link, you can go ahead and do that by accessing the settings button right at the top right hand corner of your page. So once you click on that, you'll see all of your information and then the email option should already be uh, there for you. So what you're going to press is SMS. So once you select that, it will send you text messages to your phone every morning with the survey link. Uh, if that's a better option for you in order to access the survey. So you don't have to. Uh, fill out the surveys every time you get sent one. You just do it whenever you come onto campus for whatever day you do that. You can also schedule what hours, uh, like time of the day in which you would like the text messages or emails to be sent to you. Uh, by, here, by default over here, it's seven o'clock in the morning. So they will be sending a text message to you every day at 7 a.m. So you can uh, do your COVID survey. 
So once you have done that, that will be set up for you. And then the next step will be to upload your COVID vaccination data. So that will be uploaded in this section here. Once you click on that button, it will ask you to upload a picture or file of your COVID vaccination uh, card. And then once you have done that, it will also ask you to input some important information about your vaccine manually onto the system. So that's going to ask you to put in the vendor in which you took the vaccine with. So basically the brand of vaccine you took, you're going to select which brand you took. And then once you do that, it will ask you to input the date as well as the dosage of the vaccination that you got. And that will be for each dose and each type of vaccine that you have been given. So once you have done that, you click add, it will add it to the system for you. And then you should get a message that says vaccination data has been successfully saved. You press OK and it'll take you back to the home page. So once that has been uploaded, you should get a little message at the top, a little button that says vaccination records. That is where you can uh, view your COVID vaccination card and uh, update any vaccinations that you do have. So if you click on that button, you'll be taken back to this page um, and then you should get something that looks like the gallery, which is the picture of your vaccination card, as well as the information that you had inputted of your dosage, the brand of vaccination you received, as well as the date you received it. Uh, in order to exit this page, you can go ahead and click the green done button at the top of the page and it'll take you back to your home page. So the next step after you do this is to book your on-site COVID test. And you can do that by clicking book on-site COVID test button that appears right here on the screen. So once you click on that, it will take you to this page. So it will ask you to upload a picture of your insurance card, your health insurance card. If you do not have health insurance, you can. there will be an option where you can opt uh, and say that you do not have health insurance. It will let you continue on to the next step. Um, but once you're done uploading your health insurance card here, it will direct you to the page in which you can make your appointment. So the, peer to, the page to make your appointment will look something like this. It will ask you to choose the location of your test as well as the date and time you want your test to be taken. So under location, for our purposes at ELAC, we will be selecting East Los Angeles College Building G5. Uh, this is going to be at the Math and Science Building. So we're going to select that. And then once we've selected that, it will give you the option to pick a, a day for your appointment. So our appointments are only available at ELAC every Wednesday and Thursday of every week. So if you plan on making your test, please uh, keep that in mind. Uh, once you have selected a day for your appointment, it will tell you to select the time. So uh, it will list the times of availability for the day you have chosen. You just choose whichever time fits your schedule more. So once you have done that, at the bottom, you will see a blue button that says book. You're going to book to confirm your appointment. Once you have done so, you'll get this little message. You're going to press yes, you want to book your appointment. And then you will get a little reminder of your appointment once you have done so. Uh, if for whatever reason you cannot make your appointment, you want to change your appointment to a different day uh, or time, or you just don't want to do the test anymore, you can go ahead and click this trash icon and it will delete your appointment for you. So once you click that trash, trash icon, you will get this message. Uh, you'll press yes to delete the appointment slot and then you'll get this message afterwards uh, verifying that you have deleted and canceled your appointment. Once you have done that, uh, if you do make your appointment and you want to see the specific information that we saw earlier, you can click this calendar icon at the top of the page. It will take you back to the page that we were that shows you all of your uh, appointment information, the location, the time and the date as well. And then that is also where you can delete your appointment as well. Uh, your COVID test results will automatically be uploaded onto your ClearFord account. And it will show right over here 
on the button that says test results. It should be right in between vaccination records and the calendar icon. So if you click on that, you can view your results. What will usually happen is you will get sent a text message or an email with the access code. Once you have inputted the access code and verified it, you'll get sent to this page and it will tell you the date you took your test, what the result was, um, and then you can exit this message once you have re reviewed your test results. If you do need to do a religious exemption for health purposes as well, and you have verification of it, what you can do is you can go over to your student portal and there should be an option that says COVID vaccination exemption, which appears right over here. Once you click on this, it will take you to this page. So it'll have your information as well as this message that you'll need to read. Once you have read this message, you will choose the appropriate vaccination exemption that fits your situation, whether it be a medical exemption or a religious exemption. And then you will click submit. Once you have done so, uh, your request will be looked over and uh, we will notify you if it has been processed or not. If you have further questions or need further assistance with your clear for account setting it up or you just have general questions about it, you can go ahead and visit our Welcome Center's live chat, which the link is provided here. Our live chat will look something like this. It is available Monday through Thursday from 9 to 5 and on Fridays from 9 to 1 if you need to contact us that way. You can also email our office. Our email is located right over here as well as on our live chat page on our website. Uh, feel free to contact us and we will be glad to assist you.